I understand it was, I guess, one week before Alan Thick's death that you had the mastectomy. How did you deal with everything you were going through and then getting the news that he had passed? I cried a lot. Um, hmm, excuse me, surprising. <laughs> um, yes, it, I think it was about eight or nine days after um, my surgery. <clears throat> That's surprising. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you know, it's really interesting because I'd run into him a week before um, I was going to do my surgery. And we saw each other on a golf course and we kind of ran across a golf course and we gave each other a big hug. And I was going to tell him, but I, I was afraid he was going to make a jo joke and say that I would screw up his golf game. <laughs> so um, he was always a big joker and um, it was really hard to lose him. And. Um, but I actually went to his memorial four weeks out. I chose to keep my surgery very private because I just didn't want it commingled with his death. And um, this was his time to be celebrated, and he was. People loved Alan Thick. Yeah. You know I... Thinking back to when you two co-starred as essentially TV parents, I think one of the reasons why so many people fell in love with you all as actors is because you could tell it was genuine. And it's just so obvious how genuine your feelings are for each other and your entire crew. There are actually a few other people who wanted to say something to you, so have a look. Hi, Joanna, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there in person. I wanted to give you a big hug. I love you, and you are one of the strongest ladies I've ever met. Mwah. I love you so much. You got this. Hey, Joanna, it's me, Kirk, and you know that ever since I was a little kid, I was always so thankful to you and to Alan as my TV parents and I was always so proud to be your son. Well, now that I'm a little older, I want you to know that I'm still so proud of you, and you are in uh, our love and our prayers, and I'm excited at how so many will be helped because of your courage today in sharing your cancer story uh, all across the world. And so, thank you again for your example. We love you, and we will continue to pray for your health and your healing. God bless you. I'm, I'm struck by how much your TV children care about you in real life, and we actually have another of your TV sons here. <laughs> Jeremy Miller's here. Come on out, Jeremy. It's almost as though you have two families. I do. <laughs> the TV family and, and then your real life. I do. I mean, we spent, you know, as, probably more time together than we did with our, our regular families. Oh, yeah. And I used to call Alan my daytime husband. <laughs> I was always happy to turn him in, though. <laughs> Jeremy, did she mother you? Oh, off, absolutely. Off camera? Absolutely. This was my other mom. If I was acting up, you could be sure I was going to hear about it. Definitely. Um, also an amazing guide for anything I ever needed. And Joe, you know I love you. I love you, too. And... <laughs> well, and one of the reasons Joanna is here is, is to raise awareness. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month for guidelines and how to do a self-breast exam and when to schedule your mammogram, visit our website, thedoctorstv.com. Jeremy, thank you for surprising Joanna today. And Joanna, most importantly, we're just so happy that you're doing well. Thank you for sharing thank your you. story with us. Thank you. Continued success behind the camera, directing all the amazing work that you're continuing to do. Thank you.